In this tutorial, we will create a VFX breakdown GIF that shows how all of our layers combine together to create the final image. The first thing you'll need to do is bring up the timeline at the bottom of Photoshop by going to Window, Timeline. And I'm just gonna dock that to the bottom. You should already come at the bottom like this. Then you can click the button that says Create Video Timeline. This will get all of your layers from over here on the right hand side and stack them up in your timeline. At the moment, all the layers begin at zero and all of the layers end at five seconds where it says 0500F. If you want to extend the duration of your GIF, you simply just click at or near the end of one of your layers and drag it to the right. This will extend the duration of your GIF to six seconds or more. I only want to have five seconds, so I'm just going to drag the duration of my GIF down to here. And I then need to tell Photoshop when to start showing each layer. To create the effect that you see here, I need each layer to begin slightly after the other and then stay on forever. So to do this, you simply need to click at the beginning of a layer until your cursor turns to this and drag a layer to the right. Unfortunately, unlike After Effects, you're unable to drag the beginning of multiple layers to the right at the same time. Although you can move multiple layers to the right, but this extends the duration of your video, which can get annoying. So keep dragging the beginning of each layer to start after the one beneath it. It sounds silly, but it may be easier to get these in a nice straight line by putting a ruler or piece of paper temporarily on your screen in real life so that you get a nice straight line so that each layer appears for the same amount of time as the one before it. I usually have the final layer stick around for a bit longer than all of the others so that the animation would look something like this. You can hit the space bar to preview your animation. I'm now ready to convert this into a GIF. So I'll go to File and it's in Export and it's called Save for Web Legacy. Even though it's called Legacy, I don't believe as of 2019 there is any other way to make a GIF and this is pretty simple. So you have to wait for this to load and mine's taking a long time because it's quite a big image at 5,000 pixels wide and you might see it's zoomed into a very small part of your image. You can do Alt and Scroll to zoom out or you could just do the next step which is to reduce the size of your image. At the moment, this single image is 10 megabytes bytes in size, which will be very inefficient for a website, it will take quite a while to appear, especially on mobile devices. So I'd recommend reducing the size of your image down to HD 720. So for height, I will type in 720 and you wait for it to resize. You'll see now, even though it's still HD 720, which is fine for most things, including websites, you can see it's only a megabyte and a half roughly in size now. Most of the other settings in here are fine by default, like the colors, we've got 256, which is the maximum. If you're doing pixel art, you can hit change the quality from by cubic to nearest neighbor, but I'd leave it at by cubic and make sure that the looping options is set to forever. You can preview it down here with the play button. And when you're happy, you can hit save. You can see it's already chosen a GIF up here and you can check that now in your documents or finder if you're on a Mac. And to preview your image, on a PC, you have to do right click, open with and choose photos. On a Mac, you might need to right click and open with Google Chrome, uh, which will show you the GIF in a browser window. Your GIF is working and it's now ready to upload to your website. 